proof of polygon law we have seen that if you want to add many vectors we can use the polygon law to find the vector sum of these vectors let us say we want to add a vector b vector c vector d vector and e vector what do we do is we place the tail of b over the head of a then we place the tail of c over the head of b then we place the tail of d over the head of c and then we place the tail of e over the head of d thus we form polygon and we have seen that the sum of a vector b vector c vector d vector and e vector will be the line joining the tail of a with the head of e and this will be the vector a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus d vector plus e vector now we name this polygon as p q r s t and u in this polygon if we look at the points p q r they form a triangle the side p r will be the vector sum of the side p q and q r or p r vector will be equal to a vector plus b vector now if we look on three points p r and s they also form a triangle in this triangle the p s vector will be equal to p r vector plus r s vector p r vector is a vector plus b vector and r s vector is c vector which means p s vector will be equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector now if we look at the three points p s and t they also form a triangle in this triangle p s vector plus s t vector will be equal to p t vector but p s vector is equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector therefore pt vector will be equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus d vector similarly if we look at the three points p t u they also form a triangle in this triangle pt vector plus t u vector will be equal to p u vector pt vector is equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus d vector and t u vector is equal to e vector and therefore p u vector will be equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus t vector plus e vector and therefore the side p u which joins the tail of p and the head of e is the vector sum of the five vectors and thus this is the proof